Hello and welcome to Tradition. This video tutorial will show you how to hide the page numbers on specific pages of your manuscript. You may need to do this if you're typesetting your book yourself and not relying on our online typesetting software. To demonstrate, I've prepared a file that's almost print ready. It has all the necessary pages, such as the title page and imprint, and the page numbers have been inserted as well. The only problem with it is that the page numbers are still visible on the first pages. Per bookmark it convention, the first visible page number should be on the first page of the actual text, usually the beginning of the first chapter. But there's a very easy way to get rid of unwanted pagination, which I'll show you now. To start off, find the Insert tab and choose one of the word shapes. You can choose any you like, but we'll be going for the rectangle. Now, by clicking and dragging, you can drag the shape across the page number. Releasing the mouse button will insert the shape. We can now edit this by clicking right and choosing a style with a white background. You'll now see that there is still an outline around the shape. We can get rid of this by setting it to white. If we now click anywhere else in the document, you'll see that the page number has vanished and that the shape itself is invisible too. It is however still there as we see when we watch the cursor. Now by clicking we can activate it again and by clicking right we can also copy this shape. If we then click anywhere else in the document we can choose to paste it and we now have an identical copy that we can use to cover up the next page number. We can also use the keyboard command Control and C to copy our shape and insert it by using Control V. Again, drag it across the next unwanted page number. There's another way to do this. You can also insert a text box which might be necessary for older versions of Word. To do this, simply delete the text and by clicking right, we can again choose a style with a white background and set the outline to white. We can also adjust the size of the shape, which doesn't really matter, and we can then drag it across the page number. What we do have to do now is set the text wrapping to in front of text or behind the text as it won't let us drag the shape into the footer or header. But voila, now all of our unwanted page numbers have vanished and the file is ready for print. Now let's take a look at the same process in LibreOffice Writer. Again, I've opened the same document with the same visible page numbers. The process is very similar. Find the insert menu, find the shape, and pick a basic shape such as the rectangle. The main difference is, is that I can't drag directly across the page number in the footer, but I have to create the shape somewhere else in the document. Drag and release. Now we can get rid of the color by adjusting the fill color to white and choosing the outline and changing it to none. We can again preemptively copy our shape and then drag it across the page number. We can then find the next page, insert our shape by pasting and dragging it across the page number again. We then repeat this for the rest of the pages. And there we go, done, ready for print. And this already concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions after watching, please feel free to contact us at info at tradition.com or info at traditionco.uk. You can also call us toll free at the hotlines listed at the top of our website. 
Until then, thank you very much for watching and we look forward to your publication.